Hey guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. Just wanted to share with you today a really, really short strategy about how you can use Facebook to grow your business uh, exponentially. It's it's ridiculous the amount of ability you have to be able to grow your business with Facebook. So I just wanted to share with you one little part of what it is I teach people and, and how I educate people and how they can use Facebook to grow their business. So it's very, very simple and short for you today, only four to five minutes, but it's going to explain to you how you can greatly grow your business. So why use Facebook? Because everyone is here. So many people go out and want to use so many platforms. You know, you've got Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, just to name a few. They're all great, but I like to recommend starting with Facebook because everyone's here. It's got the most robust targeting. Uh, you can really, really get into it and find out exactly where your clients are, what they want, what they need, what their interests are. You can go as deep or as shallow as you like, which is why I love it. And that's why we like to play in the space of Facebook too. And I recommend it. It's a great starting point for everyone. And I, I normally recommend doing one platform very well, then move on to the next. You don't have to be everywhere all the time. Just do one at a time. Um, or if you've got multiple people in your business, allocate one platform to each person. It's really, really beneficial. So how do you make it work for you? Basically, the, the step we want to talk about today and how you can make it work for you is that we want you to focus on generating content and content generation is really going to start to position you as an expert in your field and it's going to allow you to really engage with your customers, your clients um, and really start to understand more about them. So uh, we're going to go into that a little bit now. So the, the main purpose of content is, uh, and there's a great analogy by a guy by the name of Gary Vaynerchuk, which is jab, 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 right hook. What that means is that you're giving, 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 and then you ask for, let's just say, for example, the sale. We want to make sure that we're providing so much value that when we come to the right hook, they would just say yes, because we've given them so much value. We've been so helpful to them. We've provided them with the content that's going to help their businesses, um, that's going to help their help them overcome whatever their problem is that your business is there to solve, that they, they're basically foolish if they don't. So that's the strategy around why content is so important. This is how you can make it work for you, is you want to be giving, 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 then it's okay to ask. None of this ask, 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 you know, buy this, buy this, buy this. We want to make sure that where we have our clients' best interests at heart and we're serving them to the maximum capacity that we can, which is why content is, you know, really the king when it comes to any online platform. So our content really needs to map out the client buying process that they go through. Um, the awareness process that the clients have because ultimately they, they're, they're going to be in one of three stages, which is either the discovery stage, the reflection stage, or the action stage. And the content that we have really starts to map out whichever stage they're in. So for example, if they're in the discovery stage, let's say I'm, I'm talking about social media. I might, be say, I'm, I might be doing a video like this, why Facebook is important or why social media is important for business. If they're in the reflection stage, it might be something like, okay, let's look at why, um, so reflection stage, let's look at, it's a great example for reflection. They're thinking about different strategies. So why to look at uh, Twitter, why to look at Facebook, why to look at LinkedIn. So they're not looking at the platform as a whole. They're more of looking at which one's suitable for them and action stages they're ready to go. So it might be, these are the five best companies to work with for social media, or this is why, um, this is what you should look for in a company to help you generate more leads on Facebook, where they're ready to take action. So for your business, take a moment and think, you know, what's some content you could map out at the stages where they're at? Because ultimately, they're going to want to work with you, but your content should be mapping that client process out for them. So they should, you should either be helping them discover about it, you should help them reflect about it, or it should be about how they can take action upon it and things to help them in those processes. So a couple common types of content that you can use, you've got, for example, the common mistakes people make. Listicles, they're always really, really big on Pinterest. Case studies about you know your clients and what they've done. How to video, um, how to, sorry, and then video. So how to do something and then a video, like this is a video now, this is a piece of content for you guys. What sort of budget should you be using on this? I like to go with a minimum of about $10 a day. Uh, that's you get some really great traction. If you're just starting out, you know, the very, very minimum budget you can have is a dollar a day. But hey, $2 a day is great, something like that. And I highly recommend don't pausing it if you need to. If you're doing $10 a day and you need to stop, just change it down to a dollar a day. It's uh, You get much better results in that in that regards. And um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of reasoning I could go into, but don't pause them. Just drop the budget if you really need to. So why do it? 
it increases your branding, it's going to help you get more leads and ultimately it's going to help you decrease costs when you couple with it with a few other strategies we, we teach and obviously you know scroll down the page and have a look on our, on our Facebook page, jump on our website and you'll see a few more pieces of information about how you can do that, coupling it with retargeting and things like that. But you know, overall, you really want to make sure that you separate yourself out and become the only solution, which is the master reason why this happens. You want to be the go-to business in your niche. So if you're separating yourself out and becoming the only solution, that's because you've provided them the most content. So they've gone, look, these guys know all the answers to our problems. We want to go and work with them. You're the only solution because most people in your in your in your niche in your industry aren't going to be doing content. So content is king, very very important. So make sure that you're producing it and putting it out to your marketplace. So that's all we just wanted to share with this with you guys today to really just help you generate a bit more business on Facebook, but also how to position yourself on Facebook as well. Because we believe if you're watching this video, you know you have the opportunity to do this for your business. So we want to give you the best chance possible. If you have any questions, just post below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot.